All right, in today's video, I want to show you how to make my very favorite snack, which is homemade fries. I make them oil free and I usually make them in my air fryer, but because many of you probably don't have an air fryer, I'm going to show you how to do it in the oven. So it's really simple. Um, I'm going to make a big batch because typically for me, um, I enjoy actually, instead of putting my beans, serving my beans on top of quinoa or rice, right now I'm really into serving them over crispy fries. And so I make a big batch and then I just reheat it in my air fryer. You can also reheat it in your oven to make them crispy again. Um, and then I serve my beans over that. I like to make, oh, you can take the skins off if you want, but a lot of the nutrition is found in the skins, so I leave them on. And I like to make mine um, into thin, crispy little sticks, but you can cook them into cubes, you can cook them into wedges, I mean, you can cut them into whatever size or shape you want, and this will work. Now, if you're cutting them really tiny, then you may not need to cook them as long, so you'll need to check your oven and see how they're um, progressing and see if you need to take them out earlier. But these should cook at 475 for about 30 minutes in your oven. You can check them a little bit before and you know see if they're at your level. I like mine really, really crispy. So I'm gonna chop these up, I'm gonna spend a couple minutes doing that, and then I'll show you how to go from here. potatoes all cut up. Now if you do have an air fryer you can just stick these right in your air fryer basket right now, season them with your seasoning you prefer, and then if you have an air fryer you know that halfway through it will beep for you to shake them so you'll stir them up and sprinkle some more seasoning. Um, this is how you do it if you're going to do it in your oven though. So I just put them in a bowl. I add my favorite Cajun seasoning as much as you want probably about, I don't know, three tablespoons. I like to cook them really well. They taste really, really yummy. All right. Now, let's talk um, items that are gonna help you in your oven. So, parchment paper is a really great thing to use. Um, it helps things not to stick and helps them get crispy. Um, then you don't have to use any oil at all. And they used to have it where you kind of would roll it out and slice it on the little um, razor edge. But now you can buy them already pre-cut, which is awesome. But if you know you're gonna be eating fries a lot, it may be wise to invest in a baking mat like a Silpat or they they have a lot of knockoff brands that like you know, Bed Bath & Beyond and stuff where you can get these. Um, if you know you're going to be like making baked onion rings and cookies and fries a lot, this is a great thing to invest in. Um, mine's like really old and beat up, <laughs> but it's still going strong and it just makes it so nothing sticks. And so um, it's a great way to do oil-free cooking and keeping your pans safe and happy. So I'm going to set this over here for now and we'll do it on on your pan. I just have a large cookie sheet. Remember, you can cut them into any size you want, spread them out so they're not really on top of each other and they have room to crisp up. And we're going to get these in the oven for about 30 minutes and then you can enjoy them. Um, remember, you can store them in your fridge, but Potatoes that have been reheated in the microwave, well, especially that are supposed to be crispy, aren't going to taste as good. So always just reheat them for a few minutes in your oven. You can either set them on broil for a couple minutes or, you know, bring your oven to 350 for about 10 minutes or just pop them in your air fryer and hit like the defrost button and it will crisp them right back up and they will be delicious all week long.
All right, the fries are out of the oven. They are crispy and they are seasoned to perfection and they are hot. I love dipping them in my cilantro dressing that we made in week one. I love dipping them in my vegan blue cheese or ranch or even just ketchup, but they're also delicious if you just serve them underneath a big pile of beans and salsa and avocado and yummy sauce. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy these. Remember, you can cut them in any variety to use however you prefer. And this is a delicious and nutritious way to eat awesome, awesome potatoes. <laughs>